What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, I see Pitbull Cruz will have another successful victory, and this time in his first title defense. Isaac Pitbull Cruz is going to take on the very talented, hard-hitting, Jose El Rayo Venezuela tonight. And Isaac Cruz is facing a guy who doesn't have the experience that he has. Jose Venezuela, El Rayo, 13 wins, two losses, uh, no draws, nine wins by way of knockout. One time in his career, he was knocked out. He's 25 years of age. He's five foot 10 with a 70 inch armage. Now, the biggest win of El Rayo's career to date it's his last fight, December of 2023, when he brutally knocked out in a highlight reel knockout, Chris Colbert, in a rematch in the sixth round. Now, they fought prior to that in March of 2023, and he lost the unanimous decision, a fight that I thought El Rayo actually won that fight. And this time, he closed the show. But he got brutally knocked out by Edwin De Los Santos. And I see Pitbull Cruz. He brutally knocked out Rolando Roley Romero in his last fight uh, to become the WBA junior welterweight world champion at 140. And he's now 26 wins, two losses, one draw, 18 wins by way of knockout. He is 26 years of age, but he's five foot three with a 63 inch arm each. So El Rayo has a significant height advantage over him. He's seven inches taller. Uh, he has a seven inch arm each advantage. He's a southpaw, and he has a lot of power. Now, you can look at the Giovanni Cabrera fight, who was 21 wins, no losses, no draws, seven wins by way of knockout, five foot nine with a 71-inch arm reach, a southpaw. Well, he's an orthodox fighter who switched to southpaw, and he gave Isaac Pitbull Cruz all types of problems in their fight. Now, Isaac Cruz, he still won the fight over Giovanni Cabrera, over Giovanni Cabrera. Uh, he won a split decision, but he gave Isaac Cruz everything he could handle. And it was like he laid out the blueprint outside of the Javante Tank Davis fight. He laid out the blueprint. And the difference is now El Rayo has more power than Giovanni Cabrera. And, but he could box, but he's not as disciplined as Giovanni Cabrera on defense. He makes, uh, mistakes. He overextends with his punches. And at times he judges distance. Uh, very bad. And so he starts to reach with his punches. If tonight El Rayo is to upset Isaac Pitbull Cruz and become the WBA champion at 140 in his first title opportunity, then El Rayo would have to be very, very disciplined on defense. He would have to be very, very smart and have a very good judge of distance and tie up when Isaac Cruz gets too close. And even in the knockout victory over Chris Colbert and the vic the first fight against Chris Colbert, he just made tons of mistakes in those fights. And at times he doesn't have a lot of power on his punches. And then suddenly he has out of this world power, right? Just, just blunt power, right? But then because he overextends and he's out of position and he's too far away, then he don't have no power on those punches. And Isaac Cruz has an extremely high work rate. He gets up underneath your punches and he works very well in the pocket uh, and doesn't allow you to tie up. And El Rayo has a, a hard time tying up his opponents. So if he is to upset Isaac Cruz, he's going to have to be able to tie up and be disciplined on defense. And I don't see that happening. So I see Isaac Pitbull Cruz winning this fight by a eighth round knockout victory because I believe that El Rayo is going to make grave mistakes in this fight. And I think that he's going to have a lot of success and he'll be possibly winning the fight, but he'll just make mistakes that ultimately will cost him. And Isaac Pitbull Cruz will stop him in the eighth round and successfully defend his title. So again, let's see how this unfolds and plays out, but that's my final fight prediction. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>